326 BC, Alexander the Great has begun his conquest to capture the known world that laid bare before him. Crushing nearly every foe who ever posed a challenge, Alexander finally arrived at the edge of the mighty river Hydaspes, also known as Jhelum, that flew across Punjab. When Alexander reached India, the monsoon season was at its peak and the rain had made the river Jhelum dangerous to cross. But more than the monsoon and the merciless river, it was something else that put Alexander's dream of world domination in hold. And it was King Porus of the Paurava Kingdom. Porus was a formidable ruler, known for his military skills with ruthless tactics that at times even surpassed Alexander himself. Crossing the unruly river, Alexander had to face Porus an opponent unlike any he has ever fought before. Porus brought war elephants to the battlefield, using them to create a massive front line. These elephants were intimidating for Alexander's cavalry and infantry, who had never encountered such a force. The elephants acted as moving fortresses, disrupting formations and scattering enemy ranks, making them an enormous challenge for the Greek forces. While Alexander overcame the initial shock and gained upper hand, Porus led his troops refusing to surrender. He fought until the end, despite being heavily outnumbered and surrounded by Alexander's men. Although Alexander won the battle, he was impressed by Porus's bravery that instead of executing him, Alexander reinstated Porus as a regional ruler. But even with victory, Alexander's men were exhausted. Homesick and demoralized, they feared they might have to face large Indian armies throughout the Indo-Gangetic Plain. This created a sense of discontent and resistance in the ranks. Shortly after, Alexander's troops refused to march further into the Indian subcontinent ending Alexander's ambition to conquer all of India.